In this video, we will layer a garment on top of each other and we will work with the layer features. You can see that I have all of my patterns ready in the 2D window and in the 3D window I have positioned them right in front of the avatar. For now I'm going to close the 2D window. We'll work just in the 3D window. So with this layout we need to work to position all of the patterns first on the mannequin and then layer them on top of each other. So we would normally start with the layer that is underneath of everything. So for me, that would be the underpants or the short shorts. I would like those to be on the body and then I'll layer the bodies, the sleeve and the various skirt layers. So for that, I will come and activate show arrangement points. You can also use shift plus F. Right now I have my uh, arrangement points and if this is too busy for you, you could also for a second here deactivate them and just move the patterns further out so that they're not in your way, the area that you will work with. So let's go back into activating arrangement points and I will bring my pattern pieces a little bit closer just so they're easier and I don't have to scroll up and down. So for the front pieces I can click on the piece then come and position it. You will see that it will activate with a dark gray and this is not quite perfect as you can see that it's above the area that I want it to be but I can click on a blue point here and then grab it with the gizmo point and finish the better arrangement or just adjust it better. So the next one will be this one. I'll follow the same process. This one I'll put a little lower. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to bring it exactly where I want it. If you need to rotate, you should make sure that the pieces are not inside of the flesh and that they're exactly where you want them to be. So this looks better. These two are aligned. They're not too far away from the body. Um, you could bring them even closer, find the angle that works best for you and just arrange them as best as you can. Now we have two more pattern pieces. These are the backs. So I'm just going to move them a little bit closer and then rotate my area. I'm using my mouse for that. Click on the pattern piece you want to work with and just find the perfect spot for it. And then the other one and utilize the gizmo to finish the arrangement. This one is now a bit inside of the flesh, so I'm just going to pull it out and adjust and edit exactly where it needs to be. So a bit more to pull this one out. You can also use the arrows on the gizmo tool and now we are ready to simulate just the pants. Now I have a lot of other pattern pieces here. First, I should deactivate the blue arrangement points or hide the arrangement points. And then all of the pattern pieces that I don't need, if you would like them to be inactive, let's go to the 2D window, select all of the pieces that we don't want to work with, and I'm just going to freeze them in space. So you can select them all in the 2D window, come to the 3D window, right click, and then freeze. So that will keep them in space while I'm simulating just for my underwear or short shorts. So I'm ready for this. I'm going to click spacebar or simulate. So I'm going to stop the simulation. I have the pants on and now I want to arrange all of the other pieces. So you could also work with simulation up here on the top left. Next, I will work with my uh, dress. At this point, I can unfreeze all of my pattern pieces. Make sure that they're all selected, otherwise you'll have to do it one by one. And now I can come and arrange my bodies first and then all of the other pattern pieces. So we'll follow the same process. Click and activate the arrangement points and then work with the arrangement points. This one is giving me a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to make sure that I am clicking on a blue point. If you don't click on a blue point, then you will not place them on the body. And then I will grab my back pieces, zoom in on the body a little bit, 
and make sure that you're placing correctly left and right piece so this one will be this one and now these pieces are ready at this point I can also work with my sleeve sleeves can be a little tricky when they're so expanded they will kind of wrap around the body so I don't necessarily want to uh, create that yet so I'm going to work with the band first I think that needs to be actually a little bit higher as the sleeves are not that long so I'm going to grab the gizmo tool bring it up I think there's somewhere around here this one why did it go back so grab the gizmo tool bring it up and just make sure also sometimes if the stitching see here it does not go quite around the body so I'm going to make sure that it does also you want to make sure that the stitching falls underneath if it rotates in a weird way where the stitching is on top then it may try to rotate the sleeves for now I'm going to deactivate the arrangement points and what I'm going to do actually for the sleeve is I can show you um, let's see if I have the arrangement points bring the sleeve now take a look and see how this is wrapped around the body. So when it simulates, it really has a hard time actually um, utilizing and simulating the seam lines and this wrapping around the arm really gives a lot of problems. So I'm gonna undo this and I'll do it slightly different without the arrangement points. So I'm actually gonna grab my pattern piece and I'm gonna move it here, position it and then give myself a better view and actually rotate it with the gizmo to position it in a way that will give me so this is a little tricky because you really need a very good angle and that would be much better and then you want to bring it close to the shoulder and the overall body of the sleeve closer to the body. Also, you want it to be right above, and this one should be slightly higher at this point, so that would be a little better. Okay, so something like that would work much better. So now we are, ooh, it would be much better if it was right above her, but it isn't, so it really should be here. So this is a little trickier. Let's see if this is better. Okay, this is much better. And we'll have to do the same thing with the other sleeve. So make sure that you're orienting the armhole to the armhole and the bottom. Closer to the cuff. Bring this one closer and we'll have to rotate it the same exact way. Again, we need a better angle here and the gizmo tool is your friend and how you're utilizing those lines so that should be a much better angle and I need to bring the f armhole area a little higher and we're almost there bring it here so this will give me oh it sh really should be closer so I'm going to bring it right here and that should help a lot more. Now we have to layer the skirt pieces. And the trick here is, you know, make sure that we're bringing the front and back pieces. And these will be layered on top of each other. So we'll use the layering. And let's do the longer pieces first. So I'm going to bring this one. And again, arrangement points will wrap it around the body so that might not be our best bet here so I'm going to deactivate the arrangement points and simply drag these where they need to be and this will be on top so now we're starting to really layer a lot of pieces on top of each other so this will be very important in terms of how we position them and we'll utilize the layering so let's do the back pieces and you can also check with the 2D window and click on the pattern piece. Make sure that 
that is the back piece that you're bringing to the back. I know that these are the front pieces because they're aligned with my front. And I know that these are my back pieces because I remember placing them to the side. So front is always aligned with the avatar shape right here. It is very important to have organization. Otherwise, you could easily just uh, lose track of what is what. So this one will be here. And one last piece. This one will be on the back. You can also um, superimpose pieces, but we will work with the layering right now. And let me make sure that this is positioned perfectly right here. Bring it even a little closer. And now we can um, try to layer the pieces. So let's open up both windows, have a good visual of the 3D and the 2D window so that we can select pattern pieces that we need and align everything nicely and we will open the property editor. Now, this is the layer that I want it to be underneath. So when you open up property editor, take a look and look for simulation properties layer. By default, I'm gonna select everything. By default under layers, everything is layer zero. So if I simulate, Let's see what happens. I'm almost scared to do it. So I'm going to hit simulate just so you can see what happens. They start to fight horribly for the order of who goes first and last. So you might be lucky where they actually, oh, they're actually coming nicely together. So that might be the case where things may actually work out or not, just like it happened right now. So I'm going to stop the simulation, go back, stop and go back and what we'll do is we will select okay it stopped midway so i'm going to go back just a step okay so what we want to do is i am actually going to place the skirt pieces i'm going to go for all of them in layer one so i'm going to select the pieces that i want to be on top then select layer one and then we can simulate that. So that should place the short shorts underneath is layer zero and the skirt pieces is layer one on top of them. Now we do have two layers here, so that might be a little tricky and we'll see how that works out. You might want to do in that case, a separate layering where we have the pants underneath is layer zero, then this piece is layer one and then bring in the second piece um, and we might want to freeze them, but let's see how this works out right now. So we're going to click simulate. So I'm going to click here. You will get this pop-up message. When layer settings are applied to patterns, they will be indicated in fluorescent green. Once the garments are draped in the desired order, please change the layer values back to zero for simulation. So once it's simulated, we change it back to zero. They will stay in place. Click OK. Click simulate. And hope for the best. So the sleeves may also be an issue here because they're so large. And right now the fabric here is uh, trying to get through the arms and pulling a little bit. So let's hope for the best for that. And we may adjust a little bit. So it looks like it got through the arms here. But these pieces are really fighting what's on top and what's underneath. Now they are staying above the pants, but they're fighting for the order of which one is on top of each other here. So I'm going to give it another minute or so and see if they resolve. And then I can also layer these two as layer zero and layer one, but I'll let them relax a little bit first. And it looks like they're trying to resolve. I'm going to give it another minute. Also, I'm on particle distance 20. You can see it right here on the simulation properties. So the fabric is pretty rough. So I'm going to click stop the simulation for now. And uh, I'm actually going to change this to layer zero and then finish this by uh, now selecting the layer of the skirt pieces that I want to be on top. So I'm going to select these two pieces. And I'm going to give those layer one and see if that will help. I'm going to click simulate again. 
Again, it's giving me the message for fluorescent lighting. And I'm going to click simulate up here. I'm going to just pull a little bit and see if that will help. These are having a party. So this may take a minute or two and you can see that they're starting to fall down, but they're really fighting of what's happening up here. So I'm just going to pull a little bit. Some, it looks like something got caught up here. So I'm just trying to grab the bottom layer and pull it out a little bit. Now, again, we could also work with superimpose. So I'm going to stop actually the simulation right now and see if there's anything else I can do to help this. So I'll wait a little bit until the dress with the bottom layer of the skirt relaxed and I left the ruffle pieces outside. So once they relax, now I can come back and layer these on top. And again, you can see my pattern pieces here and these will be the ones that will go on top of everything. So I'll place these as layer one. But before I do that, I want to see if I can actually um, place these as um, superimpose up here. And I can right click on that and superimpose over. So that will place it on top. And then the next piece, let's take a look from the back. I'm also going to right click on it and choose superimpose over and it knows where to superimpose it because I have it already stitched. Now I still need to work with the layers otherwise they're pretty much embedded within each other on top of each other or it's not clear which one's going to be on top. So we will come back to property editor. Make sure that you do have both 2D and 3D window open select the two pattern pieces that you want to be on top and if you lose so this is just what happened to me right now and this happens very often all of a sudden you cannot see where is your property editor window it disappeared and i don't have it here in the finder window come back here to the bottom right and take a look at this uh, um, little arrow here left click on that and that is reset layout it will reset the layout and it will open up everything so i'm going to close my library and i don't need the object browser right now i'm fine with the textiles i'm just going to leave the property editor make sure that the top layer pieces are selected both of them come down to simulation properties and choose for layer layer one and we'll go through the same process i'm going to Click the spacebar once. You will get the information window telling you that the layers are applied. And once you finish, you need to bring this down to zero. So I'm going to click OK. Let's go to 3D window and just click simulation. I click the spacebar and let them simulate. So whatever is green, neon green, should simulate on top of everything else. And you can see that it's pushing it on top. It looks like actually I might have forgotten to um, stitch the side seam. Let's just double check that. I'm going to stop the simulation for a second just to double check. Um, and I can come back to my um, stitch line or click N. And yes, this was not stitched. So I saw that it was moving strange. And I'm going to create the side seam sewing come back to my 3D window and just continue with the simulation. So now it's closing the sides and simulating properly. And again, I am in 20 particle distance so you can see these large triangles. The fabric does not look as nice as it could. Here in the sleeve, there's a little bit of an issue there. This is coming off of the skin, so I'm just going to pull it a little bit and hoping that that will resolve it. If not, I might have to get in a little closer there and make sure that, uh, oh, it's completely out of the arm. This is actually a great, um, ah, made myself dizzy. This is a great uh, place to mention. I'm going to stop the simulation. My computer's completely overheating. So you can grab the mesh box 
and you can select the area that is not outside of the skin so you want whatever part of the textile the fabric the pattern you want to come out you can kind of select that area you're not going to be able to grab all of it but you're indicating where this area is and I grab from the left and the right side so on both sides of the pattern so now I can come to my 2d window and you can see where that is so I know which area of the pattern to select it's much easier to do that in the 2d window so I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select this whole area okay and then this whole area and I will come back to the 3d window orient myself really well and just pull that out and that should make sure that you get it out of the skin but don't get it into the body so that should be fine click spacebar again and that should simulate now outside of the body and when you're finished you can just click away on a different tool and that will deselect the mesh box so we're in pretty good space right now I am happy you can see that the skirt is now placed on top or the top ruffle is on top so now I can go back create more pattern pieces and layer them on top of them and let me just double check this sleeve make sure that that looks good it's beautiful chiffon transparent so that is laying pretty nicely and again for the final look I would go to particle distance make that 10 5 so that you get a much better simulation before we finish I'm going to stop the simulation so make sure that you have the pattern pieces that you want to bring back to layer 0 selected let's open both 2d and 3d and select the pattern pieces that you need again I lost my property editor I'm gonna reset the arrangement or my layout really and I don't need the object browser I'm gonna close that and for these two pattern pieces I'm gonna come down to simulation properties go down to layer click on layer make that zero and then click simulate one more time and now we can see are beautifully layered the short pants are underneath the skirt long is next and then we have the ruffle on top of everything else if you like what you saw please like the video and subscribe and please do add comments if there's anything else you need to know if there's anything else you would like me to do a video on please comment thank you so much for watching